Susan Minow is an American author born in Massachusetts on December 7, 1956. She comes from a large family of talented artists and writers with three sisters and three brothers. She has won multiple awards for her writing, including the Prix Femina Entrange in France and an O. Henry Prize. Most of her writing focuses on the themes of love and the emotions that are evoked, both romantic and familial. Lust describes a young woman's relationships with different men in boarding school in the late 60s, early 70s. She begins with clear, concise recollections of moments she had with each boy. At first, her memories are matter-of-fact and detached from emotion. As the story progresses, she has moments of realization in which she describes her emptiness and the gender bias. Similar to millions of other young women during this time, the protagonist searches for sexual freedom but struggles to find her voice. In order to meet certain stigmas, she makes herself available to please men, but realizes that she isn't receiving the same amount of pleasure. The men she sleeps with are all unique in their own way, but the same in their unwillingness to give back or meet her needs. Her search for liberation is not futile because she does learn that it is not the same for women as it is for men. She realizes that her needs exceed beyond the act of sex with numerous men and that casual sex actually makes her feel more empty. Since women had been sexually oppressed for so many years, her story mirrors that of millions of others discovering their identity. She repeated the painful empty process with different boys and each time attained the same result. After some experience, she denies her emotions and disappears in the process. Minot ends the story with the harsh reality so many young women are living. The reader never knows if she allows love in her life or continues to spiral down, emotionless and hollow. The protagonist is a young woman in boarding school who remains unnamed. The story depicts the advancement of women of the time by acknowledging the narrator's athletic and mathematical ability. Women were not given sports privileges in prior years, and although she was talented, her infatuation with boys distracted her. Also, men were always considered to excel at math and sciences. Men are easily attracted to her, and they often go on outdoor weekend trips. She wants people to think she is fun, beautiful, and free, but the more boys she is with, the more empty she feels. She expresses her thoughts, but struggles with emotions and does not allow herself to love. The boys always wanted sex from her, but treated her as an object. She remembers instances and in songs, mannerisms, and the way she felt after. Her family knew nothing. Sexual freedom was not acceptable to many parents in the 60s and 70s. Her conservative parents had no idea she was on the pill and her behavior would have been shunned immediately. Her friends were also confused, depressed, and taking birth control. With an increasing amount of sexual education and literature being published, young women were sexually experimental and desperate for freedom. To their dismay, not all were able to obtain freedom from sex. They were always left feeling as if something was expected of them. And according to their school nurse, it was. Lust takes place during the feminist movement and sexual revolution in the 60s and 70s. The first movement was extremely important for women's rights, including the rights to work and vote but women pushed for equality in sexuality, home life, and abortion rights. The invention of the pill in 1960 changed the course of history for female sexuality. Before this form of contraception was available, women were afraid to have sex out of wedlock. Men, as the dominant sex, were able to place women in a certain position in their home and family life. Along with the feminist movement, women also began to change their fashion to be more physically liberated. In 1960, 
half of 19-year-old women who were unmarried had not yet had sex. By the late 1980s, as Nancy Cohen pointed out, two-thirds of all women had done the deed by age 18. While the 60s paved the way for the feminist movement, the 70s focused on sex, drugs, and rock and roll. For the narrator, this was her teenage life. When she hears a song, she remembers the boy she had sex with. She experimented nonchalantly with drugs. Millions of women in the 60s and 70s began their journey to sexual freedom and individual discovery. As we see in Lust, many lost themselves in the process. While women gained progression in rights in the 60s, the 70s surged around sex. Women and men were more likely to have sex out of wedlock, a rebellious idea unheard of to their parents. They attempted to live a sexually free life, but casual sex with numerous partners was not the same for women. Women were labeled with derogatory terms and negative stigmas were developed. Simultaneously, women realized that sex for them was different. They listened to their carnal desire to enjoy sex, but soon discovered that it did not feel the same if feelings were absent. Amidst the progressive gains, women were devalued and struggled to find their individual identities. Minot uses a minimalist writing style with metaphors and similes to describe her feelings. This writing style conveys the author's point clearly and unfolds with the story. The narrator tells of her numerous rendezvous with boys, first in a detached tone. After sifting through the memories of over a dozen different boys, she reveals her harsh realization. The story ends with a teenage girl capturing the raw emotion of millions of young women throughout America. The irony in lust occurs in the title. The definition of lust is a strong sexual desire. Although these desires were prevalent in the beginning, the narrator realizes that with every boy, her sexual desire diminishes.